Welcome, this is a small overview video about uh, Visual Studio 2010 TMAP process template we are working on within Society. Uh, so what we try to reach, what our goal is with the TMAP process template, so we can make use of the, the Visual Studio 2010 tooling in a structured way. So we have really benefit of those tools. So that's our main goal. Uh, and you can see over here in the box there is the Agile software development and the CMM process improvement process templates. And we added the combined ones. Uh, we combined some TMAP process information, some TMAP knowledge to the Agile process template. And we also added some uh, CMM, uh, some TMAP process knowledge to the CMM process improvement. So we'll first have a look at the work items. And when you unfold the template, the process template, when you create a new team project, uh, some initial work items are created. And these work items are created uh, during the unfolding of the template. Uh, there are still... So this is a work item and you can see it has a title. The activity is testing. We've got some other activities, but this one definitely belongs to the testing. I assigned it to Toko, the test manager, and the state is active. And you can see in the details there is some additional information. Which uh, so somebody who does know what a master test plan is, he can have a look at it. Uh, probably that won't be Toko, the test manager but somebody else who, who wants to look okay well, where is the test manager what's he working on and uh, so he's got some overview of what he needs to be done I added another one and that's uh, setting up the infrastructure and the infrastructure uh, that's the, the uh, for sure tightly connected with uh, lab management you can break down what the, the test manager has to do in smaller pieces and uh, for sure, I, I don't think though, the test manager is going to do all these tasks by herself. Uh, maybe he's going, she's going to assign it to other people. But, and that's a very easy one, so you can break down pieces of it. So, we've got the details. We've got some detailed steps that needs to be taken. And in the other links, I've made a small link. And this one is also created during a folding of the template. Uh, it jumps to the guidance which is available uh, in the process template. As you can see this is a, a Visual Studio Team System MSF for Agile processes template and we added uh, some team app specific guidance to it. Uh, this is the, the, uh, the, the, the Create Master Test Plan work stream um, but we also added several roles I'm for sure those are the test roles we've got a test manager coordinator test infrastructure guy I'm for sure the tester and then the overview we've got some team member overview for people who want to know something about that but the test manager creates the master test plan that's his responsibility and you can see the entry criteria which needs to be in place already what the goal is of the master test plan and some small steps and you can find these steps also as the child steps in the task um, so that are the initial work items which are available right now oh, let's go over here that's the, the, the master test plan and everything is in iteration zero um, the setting up and maintaining the test infrastructure let me show you one interesting one uh, this is the guidance of the specifying the infrastructure intake we also added over here uh, the, 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 the links to the uh, to the checklists and those checklists you can find also in the documents samples and templates tests 
uh, checklist we already added them and during the unfolding of the template those templates and checklists are also added to your project in an agile process uh, you are going to uh, brainstorm and create story lists uh, to capture the requirements the needs of the system the needs of the the business who are going to use the system as you can see I have three user stories in place over here so this is what you are going to do uh, in iteration zero and then you start your first iteration so let's have a look what that looks like I'm going to change my, my query a little bit just move it to iteration one and I want to see what's in iteration one and as you can see in iteration one uh, uh, the test coordinator is assigned to several tasks and uh, one of them is create a test plan determine the test basis and allocate the test units and test techniques these three work items are also initial work items which were created during the unfolding of the template um, and are actually the, 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 the planning phase of the TMAP lifecycle model. Um, <coughs> so let's have a look at the allocating test units and test techniques work item. So what Tom the test coordinator is going to do in this work item is going to look at the user story, he's going to look at what information is available and how to break down <coughs> the solution in pieces uh, based on what's in the master test plan, uh, based on all the additional information with the discussions he has with the business, with the developers and that kind of people. And he's going to make a, <coughs> a, a breakdown in units uh, which needs to be tested and he's going to add some test techniques to that and uh, what he's going to do is going to create work items for the testers uh, together with the testers for sure and it's actually the same as developers are doing with a user story when they pick it up from in an iteration so what developers are doing is they are going to create work items for themselves uh, together with the team uh, how this user story should be implemented uh, for example I've got three tasks over here and for testing and this is actually an additional tab we added to the user story <coughs> actually almost the same is happening uh, the test coordinator together with the test manager uh, together with the tester uh, it's going to look at the user story and how it's going to be implemented. It's going to look for sure for the overall architecture. It's going to look in the master test plan, and they are going to create uh, work items for the testers. You can see it over here. So, uh, what Tim the tester is going to do? He is going to grab this piece of functionality. He's going to look at the test base. Okay, uh, this is what I need to do. Um, let's see how those process cycle tests work, and uh, if I've got all the national, uh, all the available information to create my test cases for that one. There was a planning phase, and it's actually the test coordinator who is going to uh, create work items for the tester, which says, okay, you have to make uh, test cases based on this test technique for this uh, piece of functionality then uh, the tester is going to prepare it's, uh, it's himself uh, is everything in place do I have all the necessary information all that kind of stuff then he's going to the next phase and that's the specification phase uh, he opens uh, uh, the specified tool for it and that's uh, called uh, Microsoft Test and Lab Manager. He's going to open that environment and he's going to make test cases for that piece of functionality. As you can see, I already added test cases to this test plan, and this is test plan for iteration one. <coughs> 